In this video, I will answer a question from a recent webinar called Random Intercept and Random Slope Models. We're answering questions here because we had over 500 people live on the webinar, so we didn't have time to get through all the questions. If you miss the webinar live, this and the other questions in this video series may make more sense if you watch the webinar recording first. It's part of our free webinar series, The Craft of Statistical Analysis, and you can sign up to get the free recording handout and even the data that we ran in the example at this link listed below. Okay, and here we have two questions that are worded differently but are both getting at the same thing. So the first question, I would like to know how to use the fitted mix model to calculate the predicted values for each observation. I am assuming the random effects are not used to find the predicted values and we should work only with the fixed effects. Is that right? Second question. So would you be able to do prediction with the model that takes into account which county you are predicting with if you did not essentially fit a separate line for each county? Or is this kind of model only good for making conclusions about how much the individual trajectories vary? Okay, so just a little background here. Both these questions were asked after seeing the random slope model. So we're fitting a random intercept and slope over time for each county and we have a fixed effect for time and type of county rural versus metropolitan and the interaction between type of county and time. Okay so if you want to actually come up with predicted values based on all the predictors as well as the random effects. So in answer to the first question you do indeed need to include the random effects in the model in the predictions the predicted values for any given county and again this is not one of those things you could do by hand but every statistical software has some sort of save function that will allow you to save the predicted values from the model and it incorporates those estimates of the random effects as well as the fixed regression coefficient. So yes, you do have to use information from both the fixed and random, and yes, you can, but you can't do it by hand.